You know what then? Food is such a human common ground. It's a very universal experience. And such will be our experience because we're here at Adama. So good evening uh, fellow Tumagetanos, we're here at uh, considerably and one of the best restaurants in Tumaguete. Uh, we're here at Adamo and we have with us uh, is Chef Edison, the chef and owner of Adamo. Um, so Chef, how are you and what do we have here tonight? So uh, welcome to Adamo. Uh, let me explain the dishes that we have. We have some of the appetizers on the menu. So we'll start up with tater crusted chicken. So this is uh, a uh, chicken thighs, but instead of skin, so you really want that crisp on the chicken. Okay, the chicken and chicken so especially in yeah. Philippines. But for us, we'd rather use uh, potato, shredded potato on uh, chicken thighs. And we put the soy honey sauce with nuts with different kinds of pic pickles. Then here we have the pork butts. If uh, you're familiar with Mom Fuku, yeah, it's such an inspiration for us, but it's very Chinese food. Yes. So uh, the pork butts is basically like a shop out. Mm -hmm. It's open. Inside we uh, put the lechon kawani. Oh. So it's very Filipino, the lechon kawani. Nice. But spicy only, then we put uh, some kind of sweet sauce. Sweet, sweet spicy sauce inside. And lastly, the salad is uh, like very do my get a favorite too. It's a prawn mango salad. For, to cut off the acidity and the sweetness, sweetness on the, the dressing, put a little bit of uh, creaminess or at least coconut cream. It's still very local in the afternoon. So as you see, uh, we strive to use local ingredients and seasonal ingredients so that we can also use kind of other type of special So it also helps like a the support is there. It's very inspiring. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Um, this is just the appetizers, guys. So. The appetizers themselves are already in awe of what we have in front of us. So, we'll use Chef to go forward with the main courses and we'll give this a taste and we'll let you know what we think. Let's see. So, guys, we're still here in Adamo and uh, right now we'll be tasting one of their other special dishes, uh, which is their prawn and mango salad. Now, don't be uh, don't be shocked as to the portion size. Uh, I, you can definitely consider this as healthy, but at the same time still filling. Now, uh, what's special with uh, with this salad is since in season on avocado. Yes, avocado. Yes. So Chef uh, Edison added the. Uh, Avocado. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Thank you, Pretty Shake. Coconut. Yeah, just a little coconut and a bit of coconut. There. Here you go. Let me get it. I'm mixture. What can you check with it? I have mango, avocado, and coconut. They're not for giving. Um, giving I'm going to this. I think that's coconut, sh coconut shavings, no? Ah, uh, hikama. Ah, uh, hikama. See? Coconut. It's the first of heaven in your mouth. Ikaw lang, kapatid. Ha! Okay. Kasi mo sabot na please. Now, you know, with, with other restaurants in the Maguete, they, 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 they sort of like struggle with the idea of the salad. Okay? What about they think na salad should be all vegetables, but actually you can mix in a lot more ingredients and you know make it sort of like close to what you would call a composed dish. Okay? What about you have protein, na kay, na kay dressing itself, the, the vegetables, even sometimes na mura but they think na mura kinangan vegetables na tanan, but the mixture of the fruits themselves give it a whole new layer of flavor. Ba? 
And then when you mix it with, with the dressing, then I'll put shrimp. Um, what is this? Which one is from? Such a book. Such a ship. Honey nut with ah, pili. Honey nut with ah, co coconut pili, coconut pili. Ah, okay. Coconut cream, making it just good. So it, it, it's a flavor fest. Flavor fest because yeah. you have the fruits, you have something savory, you have a little bit of the dressing, the acid itself. It, it binds the whole dish all together. You know, like, like we we always say about know, flavor burst, as what uh, what Kapatid says. You know, about gratitude kayo. So salad palang start of the meal. Uh, it will always already set the tone of what you will be having next on your table. So lahi yun. So yeah, let's move on to our next dish. Alright, so we are now going to dive in. Um, I'm very interested to taste that. Um, uh, this, uh, this is uh, potato. Uh, shaved potato. Yeah, it's shredded. And then we eat a meat for a crust of chicken. So that's very interesting. Let's try it. And then a nice certain sauce uh, you can only taste here at Damo. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, French immigration. The king of the movie is. Certain dishes can render you speechless. And that already. This is one of those. It says a lot about how we enjoy the food. The sauce itself gives balance to the texture that it has. So it's a perfect uh, crunchy texture outside. And you have the very flavorful uh, chicken inside, chicken, yeah. which is actually soft as well. And it balances out the characters that they have. It gives it, it gives the flavor from a whole new level. So really something to look forward to. This is, as what um, Chef Edison said earlier, the regular shopao bun, pero ang ilang isulod so ang kwani ko sa malaman sa sulod niya sa kachon kawali. So let's try. I'm so sorry. The palawa yung gibi kayo yun ako. Here's the thing, ah. Other other places they do baos, and as I tasted some of them as well. It's either it ends up you have too much of a bun that it just over powers the whole dish. But then again, with this one, it's just even out. You have the you have the proper amount of uh, bun, and then you have the proper amount of seasoning on the on the filling. It's just remarkable. It tastes itself. It's just remarkable. I can't say anything less. The, 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 tex the texture all balances out. You still have that bit of crunch from the meat itself inside. And then you have a perfect amount of sauce. Then again, you blend it all over with, with the bun itself. Just perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. All right. All right. So yeah, now we're gonna have Chef Edison's entree. So we're gonna have him explain what these now another whole new level of. I don't know what to say. It's, it's better for him to explain the dishes themselves. All right. Now here we have two of some of the entrees we have uh, for this menu. So what we have is, uh, is fish. Actually on the menu, we don't label fish uh, if uh, in some kind of fish and dessert. Mm -hmm. So we do it like what we have in the market. So for example, we get Mai Mai, we get Tuna Belly, we get Snapper or Grouper. There's no price in the market. It really depends on how much we buy it at some market. Okay. So as long as it's fresh, it's good. So what we have today, the catch of the day is uh, mahi mahi. Its local name is dorado. Oh, dorado. This fish is very bland if you serve it na maulang siya. So what we do is we marinate the fish just to uh, infuse in more flavors. So this is shoyu marinated mahi mahi with caramelized cabbage, with soy marinated uh, shiitake mushrooms, with, which cuts in with the richness of the fish. And what we have on top is remoulade. And the sauce that we have is tart and cream sauce. And what we have uh, here, the, the tomatoes are cherry tomatoes, which are in season by the way this, uh, this month. And what we have here is uh, bistec. Uh, the classic dish behind this is the bistec tagalo, mm -hmm. which they usually use a sirloin. But for us, we use uh, beef neck. Okay. Okay. 
mas balance up for us, balance kayo pa and ang linya sa beef net. And other pork na magamit natin is beef cheek, which is underrated kay, kay for any animal like pork cheeks, beef cheeks, and even for fish, hybrid cheeks, which is po yung pinaka-favorite na pork sa animal, yung cheeks din. They're very tender dito. And what we have on top of that is uh, crispy potatoes, very thin and sliced, so mura siya pancit. So, ma-confuse mo sa inyo, ano din eh. Pati galing na yung pancit, so it's not pancit. Those are potatoes. Then on top, ano is lengua. So, it's a combination kay some Filipinos do, because of the Spanish influence, you always want lengua. And of course, if you want lengua, you want it tender. So, you have lengua, you have the sauce, it's basically the bistec sauce. And we have uh, sweet corn, which is also in season coming So, enjoy. Thanks, Kaya, for going to season. Yes, it's very important time uh, as, as for chefs when working in, a, in, a, in an environment that uh, you have local things you can use, Mango. So, better exploit, uh, well, not really exploit, but make use, make good use of what's available in the market. At least it, it's when it's in season, as a chef would say, na, it, it would be at its best uh, in terms of flavor and obviously available to people. So, mm -hmm. With other restaurant owners, that's basically a suggestion that better use what's you know what's in what's in season. It's, season. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, it's very challenging with the seasonal ingredients. Okay. It's not all year round. It can this kind of dish. Mm -hmm. So for us young cooks, can excited get it to learn new techniques, mm -hmm. these new ingredients. For the next you know, seasonal ingredients, so we get to explore. And like different kinds of ingredients, different techniques, how to use this and that. And for the diners, but we also look up to the next right. dishes. Yeah. So it's going to be the next time. Exactly. So I'm playful less, but we're going to look forward to some. Uh, also provides for uh, opportunity for the young cooks, especially my team. Most of the team have a pay. We're young, we're a young team. Right? So it's not. Only in most restaurants, the chef makes the dishes. For us, it's a combination of the efforts the kitchen crew, the cooks, on how to make a dish. It's not a close uh, deal. Okay, I want this. You also need to ask the crew if this is good or not. And you also give them the chance to express themselves through the dishes that they make. Alright, so, yeah, thank you again, chef. Uh, we'll give this a try and we'll let you know. So, um, it's my turn to give justice a Mundinambo Ganiha. And this is their grace So it's actually one of my, well, not one, it's my favorite dish of any oh, restaurant here in Dumaguit. So, Kabulagi si Chef Adiso, I always came back, uh, come back here just for that dish. So, I can mm -hmm. you feel bad, yeah, when you feel you're sick, so it's going to be your comfort food. So. How is it? Oh, she can't talk. You see that? We can zoom in later. <laughs> I need to give it a try. I'm not getting any glasses of beef. The, 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 there's that glasses of beef, no, but it feels any corn. And what's the other one? What was that? Desert sauce. Ah, that's shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found my new love. Sorry. I'm not going to describe it anymore. Well, I will. Okay. It puts on biases because it's my favorite dish, but... I now know why. I made you chocolate. The sauce balances out uh, with the... With the with the tender texture of the meat. We also have your lengua, as uh, Edison described earlier. It, it, it's like an infusion of whatever Filipinos like. A little bit of a, uh, the bistec nagalo. Then a spin off with, with, with the crunchy cake. If you think about it, lengua should be soft. And then you also have your beef neck, which is also soft. You have to have texture. But then again, sometimes when you overdo a dish, what about there's certain components that you would just like to put in just for the sake of texture, and but it has to mean something. Texture. Yeah. That's the added texture with taste. Yes. So that's that's the wrong thing about other people trying to overdo dishes, you know. Yeah. It, 
we do not complement with each other. Kingsha is very well blended. We complement the ingredients. And now I know. Especially when you know that it's coming fresh from the market. So you know that it's going to be good. Another must try. I, I can. I, like I said, I will only come here just for that. Just thing. for this. So for that. Cool girl, I'll yeah. take your word. So let's go one. with the fish. Um, Dorado, one of my favorite fish is Dorado. I mean, and, and Chef said, yeah, maybe blind by it, and it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a infused with flavor. But it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Wala yung one try. Wala yung mukhang. Pusala pobre. Nangalibang po. Here's the thing, oh. we Filipinos as a culture, we're always used to like over frying things, such as fish. So, morabang, it can either end up too grainy in your tongue. Kita, morang na anad ka. But then again, if this dish itself is giving justice to. Uh, the ingredient itself, you know, it's like the perfect balance of the sauces, um, the herbs that, that were used, the cooking technique itself. Yeah, the cooking technique is really impressive. Okay, when ingredient is an ingredient, it has its own price. Now, what about what about sala kayo siya na you? It is like a good quality of fish and then you overcook it. Yeah. Or what about? Okay, for others, it's more like pork chop or beef, over crispy. But then again, if it's fish, you have to give it justice. And this is more than justice. This is heaven. Heaven. <laughs> Babe, promise. All right. Okay, thank you. And obviously, when you have a good starter, you have a good entree, you got to end it with a bath. So we have Chef Edison again uh, to explain what's going to end us up all with a bath. <laughs> Uh, one of their best sellers. Uh, like I said, I've been coming back here for a, a lot of time already, and this, this is another form of heaven. Just it's, it's just an earth. You know, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to Chef Ed. Right. Right, so I uh, go with the dessert. We don't really have a lot of desserts on the menu, so most of the time we don't have a So this is one, one of them. Uh, we have the tiramisu. So it's not the usual tiramisu. You know, we have a cake, coffee base, or liquor base cake. Yeah, the, the tiramisu that we have is a combination of textures, but we still pay respects to the traditional one. So we put the flavors of the, the traditional tiramisu, but we also put in uh, kind of variation in temperature. So what's under is uh, vanilla ice cream. Uh, vanilla ice cream. So very good, very good with ice cream, and we have the. We have the bacon. Oh, that's really So it's a it's a shortcake. It's a shortcake. 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 It's a French shortcake. Then on top is the tiramisu panna cotta. Then you see the milk free on top. It's a honey nut uh, quill. And the ones in the middle, the tiny uh, dots. So we yeah. have uh, uh, coffee infused. Uh, yeah. uh, it's also dusted with. Uh, Coffee, just to make sure you, know, you get the, you get the. I keep on pointing out to some paper box. You want to give me coffee, babe? Just it balances out. Super. So, yep. So you just need a uh, dessert that you look very happy. You look okay, cool and young. You need something like just very. Right. Super. Right. Just balance <laughs> out the sweet and the creaminess and the bitterness. So yeah. Uh, before we end with Abana, um, <laughs> what, uh, please invite our fellow Magitanis to come and visit and them. do the full experience of full heaven. That's the story experience. So yes. Please, Chef. So, uh, come visit Abana. We're located at Tindale Drive at Daro. We're open at 5 to 9 30 pm. We're closed every Monday, so Tuesday to Sunday we're open. And we also suggest that uh, guests do reservations because we have a really small space, but it would always be a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Chef, thank you for having us. Uh, thank, thank you. It was a pleasure. You're so. <laughs>